In this video, we're going to cover configuration of nav mesh characters, both in the editor with the configuration wizard and also at runtime using a uh, example script that's included with this asset. So this is the sample scene that we had created in the previous tutorial. I'm gonna go ahead and change some things around. We don't need to follow a player or anything like that. So I'll get rid of all the Cinemachine components and we'll just set the camera to look like our current view. Uh, maybe we'll fix it a little bit. There we go, that should be good enough to get the job done. Now we have our existing player character that we're going to turn this into a nav mesh uh, input scheme on the fly and get it to follow the NPC that we add around. And so I already have the boss selected. This is just a, a Mixamo model that we brought into the system. And so I want to select nav mesh NPC. I'm going to use, I'm just leaving everything else the same, essentially Strider, final IK in, in integration, but I'm unchecking add test camera to scene. So we'll go ahead and add him up. And now if you look at this non-player character, who's getting a little cozy with the bandit there, if we go look at the inspector for him, you'll see that the input scheme is set to nav mesh and there's this wanted target transform. So the target check interval is how often it checks the transform, the current position of whatever its target is and updates its destination. And that destination, I mean, in the sense of nav mesh agent destination. And if you don't know how nav meshes work, nav mesh agents or whatever, Llama Academy has fantastic tutorials walking you through the entire process of setting up nav mesh and getting characters configured with it. I highly recommend that one. Um, but in this case, I'm going to induce a couple common errors just so that you see how to configure your scene so that you can at least get up and running regardless of uh, knowledge with regards to NPCs. So we need to give this guy a target to move to. So to do that, we'll just go ahead and create a, let's just make a sphere. Um, we can get rid of the collider. Um, well, I guess I can just remove it all together. And then I'm going to pick a, we'll make him a little less obnoxious. Um, obstacle translucent. He's nice and gigantic, so it'll be pretty easy to see where the, where the target is that the guy is walking towards. And now we need to assign that to it. So we go back to our non-player character, go into his input scheme, and under wanted target, we just drag the sphere in there. And now he will follow he's going to run as fast as he can to get there in a future video i'll show you how to make him just walk or change his uh his behavior based on other aspects of the game or whatever project you're building but for this one he's just going to try to get there as fast as he possibly can as it changes now we'll go to our player character and there's an example script under assets plugins 3 pete mm mmc locomotion scripts. So if you go to the scripts directory, there's an examples and there is switch input scheme to nav mesh on key. So I'll go ahead and drag this in here so that we can, we can look at it and we're going to want to set the target scheme to be whichever nav mesh object we want to use. And we can also set a transform so that as soon as you switch over, it immediately starts trying to reach the destination you provide it. So instead of the sphere, I'm just going to have it follow our our boss character around um, and he's going to get cozy because I haven't modified any of the settings with regards to the nav mesh. So let's hit play and we're going to see an error. And sure enough, set destination can only be called on an active agent that has been placed on the nav mesh. It turns out there is no nav mesh, so they don't know where to go. So if we go to window AI navigation, we can just go to bake and bake our nav mesh. And sure enough, now we have a nice, the blue areas are the areas that these agents will know how to traverse. They'll know how to walk around them and do that kind of thing, specifically just walkable areas. So let's hit play again and see what happens. Our errors go away and sure enough, the big boss tries to get to that point. Now, our other character is in fact a input driven character. So he doesn't know. But if you remember, we just go press the O key and he will go attempt to follow the boss. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that sphere. I'll move over to our, our scene view here. And so the boss is gonna to go to the uh, sphere and the player is going to run to the boss.
So there you go. And that's it. A little more detail on the scripts involved. So we'll go ahead and open up switch input scheme to nav mesh on key. And what you'll see is, so it has, as you know, we set the target scheme, we have the activation key and we have the agent target transform optionally. So you can also just leave that null or leave that unset and the player will switch over to becoming a nav mesh, but won't target anything and will just stand idle. And so essentially when that key is pressed, and I'm using the legacy input manager here just for just ease of implementation. And the only thing that happens is whatever target scheme you set, you just call character, which is our uh, ng character in the MMLC asset. So you just call character.set input scheme with the target scheme you want and you're done. It will clone it. It'll do everything necessary to get you fully up and running that way. And then in order to set the target for it, you get that character scheme from the, from the character and because you know it's been cloned, so you want to get the proper scheme that is actually being used by the character. And then if there is one set, we just set the target. And that's it. I'm going to show one other example script. Let's go back, and that will be set mesh, nav mesh target on key. So what this does, if you have a new target, you can drag the script in, set whatever different target you want to do, and then whenever they press the L key, it will switch over to have the, having that be the current target. So this is just demonstrating how to change your nav mesh destination, how your, your NPC destination on the fly. And that's it.